Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Sumatra, Fate of Yandy. Not Andy, Yandy. Uh, <laughs> this great little puzzle adventure game was developed by Cloak & Dagger Games, published by the people's favourite Rattalika Games and is available for just £5.99, so nice and cheap. So we play as Yandy, a man who ends up getting lost after being fudged up in a landslide and needs to find his way home again. So we're going to encounter tigers, bears, caves and all types of deadly death infused crap trying to kill us. That's nice. Um, achievements wise, as you'd expect, it's very easy enough. A lot of the time it's through natural progression of the game and only a few missable ones to get. So I'll let you know when we get there. Otherwise, it is a nice straightforward game which should take us around one and a half hours to complete. So, with that being said then, let us begin. So, welcome into Indian Ring. And what we can do, it's it's very much your typical sort of point and click um, in terms of buttons and everything. So you move the left stick to move the cursor, the A button to interact with things, press the B button or the right bumper button to observe things. Very straightforward. And obviously to move your character, you've got to press A on the screen, wherever you want. Um, Yandy to go. So we'll get our first achievement for basically walking in to the office right now. And obviously what we're going to do is just smash through the dialogue and we can do that by pressing the A button repeatedly. Um, you can't, literally the uh, dialogue options do not matter throughout this game at all, so you can literally smash whatever you want. Go and speak to your boss here, Bandan Banana Head. We're going to call him Banana because it's just funnier, I suppose. But he's got a nice little moustache and I didn't realise, but... Uh, Indonesia, or seemingly on this game, have an, a fantastic ability to hide their faces. Look, they have no eyes, nose, or mouths. That's impressive. Very impressive. Time to go on Britain's Got Talent. Or Indonesia's Got Talent in this case. So this is our first little bit then. Of course, like I said, dialogue options don't matter, so you could have picked what you want there. Um, very straightforward gameplay as well. So smash through the dialogue, smash through the dialogue, and then what you need to do, so there's this like uh, little key that, or this little hook that goes into the log. So to get your inventory, just go up to the top of the screen, press the A button on what you want, and then just press the A button on whatever you want to interact it with. So again, very easy, so you don't have to be messing around with any types of stuff. So do the same then, make sure you put the three hooks in, and then we are going for a little ride, baby. Only the right sucks ass this time. Floating along the river, yeah. How did no no animal or anything attack us? Hey, we're happy with that. Here we are then, we get washed up ashore. <gasps> oh my god, we have eyes, nose and a mouth. Oh, god damn, you still look better than I do, even though you've just been in a landslide and had a nice long cheeky nap. But anyway, once we're here then, the main game now is going to begin. So, yeah, my head hurts, yeah, mine too, it's... it's it's just constant. I'd get that checked out probably. Landslide head. And you can just see a little radio. That is what we're going to be needing to pick up first. As soon as we... Yeah, the dialogue can take its time a little bit. Which can get a bit annoying because you're like, right, stop talking. Let's just crack on with it. So, there's the radio then. It's just by the river. So, we're going to pick that up again using the A button. That goes straight into our inventory on. Ah, 
And as soon as he stops talking to himself like a weirdo, but all video game characters do it, we're just going to keep on heading to the right. So obviously put the cursor wherever you want it to go and keep pressing the A button. That is how we walk in the game. So obviously with it being an old old school type adventure, we're going to grab the vine right here. So make sure to grab the vine from the tree. But of course it is one of those that you might end up accidentally clicking something or going into a location that you didn't originally intend to go. So, you know, it, it does happen a couple of times in this game, but it's not too bad. Even though it can get quite annoying. So, that's okay. You don't have to keep talking to yourself there, hun. We'll just carry on, keep going, keep going. To the right a minute. And we're going to come up to El Tiger Bredo. Oh, it's just a normal tiger. But he wants you as his bread. <laughs> Terrible joke. So, how in the big old titty balls are we going to get past this guy? So we're going to grab the stick that's in the ground, just to the left of you first. And then grab the reed, which is just in the mud. Literally, he could just literally jump down and have us all in one right now. But, ah, lazy butthole is chilling. So that helps us. So we're going to go back to the left for now. Uh, you can interact with the bush if you want. You don't actually have to, but it's basically a turkey that's going to come out. And now we're like, ah. Let's try and get something. So keep heading out to the left for now. And uh, keep going to the left. We will be back eventually. And there we go. So interact now with the strange log. And what you need to do is actually grab the reed. And in put that with the strange log. So again, press the A button when you're on the inventory. And then click the A button when you want it to interact with said thing. So now we have termites in leaf in our inventory. And it was what you should have right there. So now we can combine the stick with the vine to basically make a trap. I'll tell you what, Yandy looks like he's cut out for life in the wilderness. I wouldn't be. I, If I took 10 minutes in this place, I'd be dead. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have been bummed by a tiger long ago. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to do, inter uh, grab the trap, interact it with the bush, and Yandy's going to put it down. And then what we can do is get the termites and leaf, interact that with the trap, and then interact with the bush. And you have yourself some delicious meat, which all vegans and Peter will not be happy with this part of the game. I'm very sorry. But it's what we got to do to survive. Sorry. Tigers don't like leaves. So before we leave then, make sure to interact with the bird and the trap. The stick with the vine, you have to interact with both of those. Uh, before we move on. If you forgot it, obviously just make sure to go and grab them before we head on. And then what we can do is, you can try offering, a t if you're a vegan or vegetarian, you can try offering him the, the reed or some mud. He won't have it. The only way of doing this is getting the bird, sticking it on the tiger, not inside the tiger. <laughs> He's not going to like that a lot worse, I promise. Nobody likes a bird inside themselves, do they? Let's be perfectly honest. And then that gets us the Satisfied Customer Achievement. So, unmissable that one. Obviously, you can't be walking through sinky, sinky mud. So, we, but you can interact with the metal object for some reason and grab that. So, make sure to grab the metal object, the metal shard. And then put it with the stick to make a little axe. Then what we can do with that axe is use it on the tree to be able to cross. So, again, I have to apologize. Some of the edits in this game are apologies, but they are a little bit terrible. They're not too bad. You'll know where you are, and I'll be explaining anyway. But, again, apologies for the edits. Do get a little bit confusing now and again. I'm very, very sorry. So, we can just walk across and head on out of here. So we're just going to walk to the right a little bit. We're going to pass out through uh, diarrhea pain, or what looks like diarrhea pain. And again, in the next scene, pick any dialogue options you want. Again, dialogue, picking any dialogue in this game does not matter at all.
So, our diarrhea-infused pain uh, made us pass out, but we have woken up in this cave. Um, no worries, it's not all too bad, but interact with a basket on the left-hand side here to get a rotten vegetable. See, now vegans will be very happy with that. They've got vegetables in the game. Hooray! Anyway, what you need to do then, grab the vegetable and use it with the hole up there, the cardboard. And obviously it's going to knock it out of the way. And oh, look at this, it's a little doggy dog. Oh, come on, bruh. He's just a little dog, he's not going to hurt you. I like dogs, except the bitey ones. Little bastards. Anyway, so you can um, try and interact with a dog if you want. It doesn't make any difference, but what we're going to do is head through the exit on the right. And God damn it, this tiger's back. And I can tell you right now, the tiger would not be standing there for that long. If TV shows or the Tiger King and Joe Exotic have anything to do with it. Anyway, grab the bird, which you are standing directly be, uh, to the right of, and then he'll throw it over there. And now we are basically in a part of the world where they are like, I don't know what you're saying, you dickhead. I, I, I don't know what kind of action that was, so we'll just ignore that for now. But they can understand us anyway. So head to the right we keep heading to the right for now, and basically that's all we're going to be doing. So we've we've got what looks like, <laughs> kind of looks like Hermes Conrad there from Futurama, and Fry with his little dog. So in terms of these dialogue options that you're going to speak with, somehow the only English-speaking native right here, um, literally we're basically just going to smash through every single bit of dialogue option that there is, just so we know sort of what to do next and how we can get our stuff back. That red cap kind of looks like a MAGA cap, doesn't it? Hmm, <laughs> that's great. So then, from here, we're going to be getting a missable achievement, actually. So we're going to head to the left, and you see the dog there just by the right. I accidentally go into the cave. You don't need to go in here. Just apologies about that. But what I was aiming for was the dog right next to where we got the bird earlier. You can, yeah, you can just see him kind of blending in love with the grass. So pet him, and that will be the next achievement, the first missable one. Ah, see, everybody likes the doggies. Right, you don't actually have to go down here, by the way. Sorry, I was making sure I was going to the right. But again, it's that whole old-school point-and-click adventure thing where you get a little bit of ahead of yourself and you end up clicking on the wrong bloody thing. So we're actually going to the right. <laughs> and go to the right again. I tell you what, if you can't pet a dog in a game, that's bad developing. I'm sorry, but you always must be able to stroke a dog. Cats, meh, I can uh, take it or leave it. They suck. Oh, they're not too bad, but they almost suck. We're heading down. <laughs> we're heading down the scratchy gits. Head down. Head to the right. Right. Meow. And then it's basically this whole building that we need to get in. And we're like, oh my god. Obviously, though, we need to get our axe back to be able to get in. So we're not going to be able to get in just yet. So you can interact with the door if you want. Otherwise, what we're doing is just heading straight on back.
So once we're back here, we need to speak to the uh, MAGA Kevin. Make America great again. Uh, <laughs> so we need to speak to him. Basically, we just need to say that we need our act back. So, you know, like we're not going to murder you. I just want to go home. Why? Yeah, thanks, Kev, for all your help. Literally, you just passed me my radio back. Anyway, we're going to speak to this woman here. That's what we're going to be doing now. Speaking to a couple of people around the village. Uh, big Maga Kev. It, Maga Kev is going to translate it, basically. And then we just got to go and do the stuff. Simples. Yes, please do not use a bow on me. It's... It sounds very sexual, and I'd be well up for that, but uh, no, 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 we cannot. We cannot. That would hurt, I assume. So now we've got a quest, before we go anyway, make sure to pick up this bottle, which is basically in the middle of this small village right here. I bet it'd be nice to live in a village like this, mind, away from idiots and stinky people. But then again, I suppose you get them in everywhere, don't you? So we're heading to the left, and we're heading to the left again anyway. So that's where we go in. But we've got our jobs in order to get our axe back, so that's what we're going to be doing. So a little cutscene sort of flashback is going to happen here now. Oh, it's nice though. Nice little waterfall. Say no more, Yandy. You've got a boner for this new lady in your life. That's fair enough. We've all been there. And females have female boners for men they just meet. Hey, it's all part of natural life. But we're heading up and heading up again anyway. All part of life. Everyone loves it. And what we're going to do is basically interact with this rag right here. So we're going to be picking that one up. And when you're done talking to yourself like a... Like a mega weirdo, we're going to head to the right. So don't go back down, we're going to head to the right. Basically a few things for us to grab first. So we've just been squawked at. Hey, squawk you, buddy. I'm not your guy, buddy. I'm not your squawk, friend. Anyway, he was on the shovel, so grab the shovel first. There's going to be a newspaper in the sort of middle of the area, or the middle of the screen. So make sure to get those two, and then what we can do then, go up into your inventory, grab your shovel, use it on the box... Uh, to the left of you, and then we're going to get the roll of tape. See, very simple. What would you do without me, huh? Probably figure it out yourself, I suppose, but still. So go ahead, use the roll of tape, and um, interact that with the plastic bottle, and that is going to be thick enough to cover the holes. <laughs> you can make that two things if your mind is weird enough, like mine is. Um, anyway, we're going to basically go to the left, go down, back to the waterfall now. Uh, 
and if you didn't know what we were going to do, use the plastic by, uh, use the plastic bottle on the water. That's that was a fairly obvious thing as we were doing. Unless you were just going to play a prank on the unfortunate woman and say, "Here's your water, but there's nothing in there. <laughs> it really is." Anyway, uh, press the B button if you want to get rid of the item you've got in your hand. Um, just head all the way back to the right. So interact, uh, get the plastic bottle, give the first woman sitting down the water. Now we get this for an achievement, but I'm thinking, love, you've literally just got to walk a couple of screens to the left. And there's your water, you lazy little... But then again, I suppose we need the axe back, so they're going to take advantage of us. Well, as long as it's got nothing to do with shoving anything inside out. Anyway, so, don't need to go in the cave again, just apologies about that. We're actually heading to the left, that was my over-exuberance on the A button. <laughs> and head back to the waterfall again. What we can do is actually head behind the waterfall, but you need to interact with the uh, either side of the waterfall. So if you interact dead on with the water, he's just going to say something like, oh hey, it's like a little cave or something. You sort of need to head just behind where the waterfall is, and we've got this secret little entrance right here. Now we can get our shovel out, and we're going to use it on the rocks just to the right of us. Shrouded in mystery. Uh, while everyone's sitting around, I'm literally doing all your work for you, which is just... <laughs> well, it's basically video games, isn't it? So we're going to head inside the dark, moist, dripping cave now. Hopefully you don't smell too bad on the other side. <laughs> that can mean two things again. And <laughs> grab the figurine, which is on the floor. And again, we've got to go, <laughs> we've got to go hole diving again. And it depends what your preference is, of course. You might not even like diving into holes. But <laughs> what we can do is take a look at these mounds. The first one is going to have some eggs. Not for eating. I don't think. You can try, but um, whatever the mother is of that is probably going to be pissed off. But we pick one up anyway and then grab, uh, interact with the other mound. Turtle comes out, starts floating down. Lovely stuff. We are done with this little area now, so we can head out. Once we're out, we're going to head down once again. And we're basically going to be using the shovel on this dam right here. Damn, that's a big shovel. Oh, damn, that's a big dam. Oh, damn, that's a dam. Damn. And when that's done, we're going to head back down again. Basically, we're going to be getting another achievement here. So, jump, uh, interact with the rock to jump on it. Go inside your inventory and again, grab the egg. And then just put it on this uh, little uh, lily pad right here. The turtle's going to come down. And then we can interact with the other side to jump on the turtle back. That's quite cheeky of us. Make sure to grab the egg before we uh, go across the other side though. So, again, make sure to grab the egg before we jump over. That should be good, we'll need that for a little bit later on. And just a couple of items that we'll be grabbing here after this short cutscene again. Dirty git. So, anyway, that was just a flashback. You need to grab whatever this thing is off the leaf, the dragon blood, I believe, and grab the pink orchid. Orchid? Orchid or orchid? Which is on the tree, anyway. Orchid? I think it's orchid. It's all good, it's all kid. So, the dragon's blood and the pink orchid, make sure to grab that before heading back to the right. And then, again, you can use. Uh, just interact with the rotten tree to push it over with all your now new infused steroid strength. So 
So now then we are going back to the village. So head to the right and then to the right again. And we're just going to head to the right. God damn my over exuberance again. Sorry, we're not going down. Sorry, sorry you guys. <laughs> anyway, the woman on the right there. Uh, we just need to be giving her the dragon's blood. So make sure to grab, uh, give her that. And then we're heading all the way to the right once again. Samping. Hey, Samping, I got you something. <laughs> I am not funny. Anyway, keep heading to the right for now. So, what we're doing then, just keep heading down. We're going to head down instead of the right this time. Basically, we're going to see what kind of looks like the kid from the Jungle Book. Cannot remember his name, but you should know what I'm on about. So, we're going to give him the Gemstone now, which we found a little bit earlier on. So, he's going to give us a lighter, and then we're just heading back to the village. But we will need to be chasing an even littler Jungle Book boy uh, just a little bit later on. But for now, like I said, head up. Up, and then all the way to the left, back into the village. And once we're here, what we're doing is going past Maga Kevin and just going all the way back to the left. We are going into a new area that we haven't been before yet. So head all the way to the left. My over-exuberance seems to have stopped, thank God. <laughs> head down at this time, rather than to the left. Down again, and we're going to see this little elephant, which we need to get out of the way. We cannot pass, because he'll kill us, but interact with the fruit bush for now. Mm, I do like my bushes fruity. <clears throat> if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, we've got a brown fruit. Ooh, I don't like brown fruit. I don't think. Anyway, what you can do... Uh, inter get your shovel and then interact that with the brown fruit to sort of knock it open. Basically a coconut, more or less, yeah? Pretty much. So, you can try and throw said brown fruit at the elephant, but you're basically going to die. So, we're just going to head back to the village. So, it's up, up, and then to the right. And what... Our helpful little friend's going to do is get some nut butter. <laughs> nut butter. So interact with the woman sitting down there on the left with the brown fruit. She's going to sort us out. Melly cat. So basically Mia cat. We'll just say. So it's basically peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, it is basically peanut butter. So what you can do, interact with the pe uh, nut butter and then interact with the plastic bottle to put your nuts inside the bottle. Kind of a small fit, but if you've got small enough nuts, you can make it work. So <laughs> we're gonna head to the right now. And just go all the way to the right until we hit the cave. This time we'll be doing a little bit of interacting with the cave. A bigger hole to stick our head inside of. Uh, make sure to pick up this big old leaf, this frond on the floor. We will need that for later on, so make sure to pick that one up. And then head inside. Uh, you'll have to interact with it twice or just say enter the cave. Um, sorry, Buddy, it's what you got to do if you want to survive. Like I said, I'd be long dead by now if this was me, so... <laughs> really makes no difference. Uh, don't worry, nothing's going to attack us or anything in here, so we're just going to keep heading to the right. Nothing to be scared of. I've got you, babies. Don't you worry. We're going to interact with the mouse hole, but what we're going to do is... Uh, trap a mouse. And uh, what you need to do with that then is get the bottle nut with your butt nutter peanut butter in there, interact that with the hole, and the mouse is going to come up, and that is ours. <laughs> Stupid mouse. 
until we grab the mouse, make sure to interact and grab the sticks as well before heading out. So, again, before you leave, make sure you've got the sticks and the mouse. And then we can exit. Basically, what we're doing, again, is just going all the way left, back into the village, but then heading left. So, we're going to basically go back to where the elephant is now. It's, it's a case of elephant versus mouse. Kind of big wiener versus little wiener. Hmm. So remember it's down when we get here and then down again that is where we're going to find the monstrous trunk that is the elephant but he's going to poop his pants when we get the mouse out. So of course go into your inventory, interact with the mouse, make sure to interact with the with the with the with the, with the, with the, with the, with the elephant and he's going to be like Oh my god, I kill humans who try to kill me but a mouse I'm shit scared of. Oh my god. And that will allow us access. And of course that does unlock us the spooked achievement as well, so it's all good. So we're going to head down where we couldn't get past before, interact with the tap ear, or tape ear, or dap ear. I don't know, wherever you're from, interact with the bloody animal anyway. <laughs> He's going to be scared, and now we're going to interact with the wild yams. And with that, we can actually head uh, back to the village now. Now there is tapir poop right sort of to the right where we were. We we need that anyway so we can pick it up now. Um, I, actually, I actually miss it there the first time, sorry, but we will be coming back to grab that tapir poop a little bit later on, which you can shove in your pocket for some reason. So we're going to head to the village now. And if we go to the right, it's basically the last woman who is sitting on the floor on the right. Uh, sorry, I forget her name, but that's what we need to give the... She is who we need to give the wild yams to, Nyorak. That's a very pretty name. Hey, would you like to make out? No, just joking. So, uh, that'll get us an achievement anyway. So, that one should be good when you give her the wild yam. What we can do now, though, is um, get your newspaper out. Remember the news, the old wet newspaper that we found a bit earlier on? Hang that on the drying line. Then what we can do is just go to the right, to the next screen, and then come back, and then it should be dry. Again, physics of video games are phenomenal. Don't you just love them? Now we're going to be catching some bees. So, head to the right. This time we're going up, rather than a right. So, whoop, you get. A lot of walking in this game, isn't it? To the right. Again, that's what you need to do to survive. To the right again. Again, if it was this much walking, I'd be screwed once again, because I am just one lazy git hole. So, what we need to do is get some honeycombs. Now, obviously, you're going to be stung to death by bees. So, what we need to do... Um, grab these sticks, which we found in the cave earlier on. Uh, you can't interact with the beehive, but you can make them interact with the burnt area. So, there we go. They're nice and dry. Now, we can go to the left on your inventory, grab the rag, and interact that with the burnt area. We're basically making a fire, if you didn't know what was happening. Um, we're not making drugs, so don't worry about that. Get the newspaper now. Obviously, you should have dragged that one out, which we just did. So, put that on the burnt area as well. And now, we can use the lighter with it. So, do that. Still not going to be high enough. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's not COVID related, honestly. Now, what we can do is use the frond, the big leaf that we found just outside the cave earlier. Get that going, and the bees are going to... Well, they're not going to like it. So then all we have to do is interact with the tree, and we automatically get the honey. Winnie the Pooh's dial. But he didn't have to do this much bloody hard work, did he?
So, there we go then. That'll unlock us another achievement as well. A sticky situation we got ourselves into there. So, go to the left and we're going to go uh, down this time. And then we're heading to the right. So, what we're going to do is basically there's a lost boy now that we're going to find. So, again, we're going to head into the cave and we're going all the way to the right-hand side. We go in through one hole and then we're going to exit out of another <laughs> Again, if you're weird, if your mind's weird enough, you can make that into two things <laughs> easily. <laughs> so here we are. We're out the back end hole now. And what we're going to do is interact with the log, and these bears are going to come out. And they're not friendly. They do want to rip your anus off. But of course, we've just got the honeycomb, which we can throw away. So don't even bother trying to talk to them and stuff. Doesn't work. Get the honeycomb. Interact with the sun bears. They're going to throw it. And you can just see the little boy's jungle book little head poking out there. So this time what we're going to do is basically just follow him. So it's very, very easy enough. You'll see him on every new screen. Just follow the same direction that he goes. Come back here, kid. Now. So now we are going to interact with a huge tree, that, because this vine that we can now climb up, uh, basically it's going to be about a minute or two now of sort of talking, there's not a lot that's going to be going on. I'm the king of the swingers, oh yeah this is Jungle Book all over again. Yeah. Monkey doesn't want the fruit, but what it does want is something that we've got, and it is that little figurine that we found earlier. So as soon as we can, uh, head up into your inventory, grab the, what's called a fetish, which is just hilarious, place it on the ledge, and once again we're going to go chasing this monkey. Little butthole monkey stealing my stuff. So then, we got the doll, but we can't actually grab it yet because of the Viage flowers making us feel a bit sick. Kind of, kind of seems very unwashed and, you know, that kind of Viage flower. <laughs> anyway, just joking. But what we're going to do, head back to the village here. We're going to speak to Maga Kevin. Now, we can tell him that we found the missing child. That's fine. But then we need to ask him um, the dialogue option. You say, ask about the jungle and then ask about the flowers. And then he's going to tell us what we need to do to get through it. So, I accidentally click see you later. Uh, but again, yeah, so say, ask about the jungle, and then he'll tell us what we need. And what we need is actually that tapir or tapir poop, which actually, thinking about it now, so obviously it's left and then all the way down past the elephant, which actually what I'm thinking about now is you probably can't pick it up because it needs time to dry out. So I suppose if you're going to be picking up diarrhea kind of poop, it's not really going to work, is it? It's not going to fit in your pocket. So that's why we're grabbing the tapir dung now. 
Nice. Now you have poop on your hands. How do you feel? But now we can head all the way back up, back to the right, and basically the one that Fantastic Lady is going to interact with and make uh, Pink Orchid and Tapir Dung Poop, which apparently makes you not want to smell the vag flowers and doesn't make you sick anymore. So, with the woman on the left here, Mia Cat, uh, give her the Pink Orchid first and then grab her, give her the poop. And she's going to mix up this little concoction for us, which... <laughs> well, it works apparently, so we'll take it. So, we've got the ointment. Now we can go back up to the left and we can grab the doll and give it to the Jungle Book boy right here. Which is very nice. I tell you what, I don't. Have I ever had ointment that disgusting? Probably. Doctors hand out some weird crap when they want to. <laughs> but there we go. So we've got the doll now. Now we can give it to the Jungle Book Boy. And then we can head back to the village. That will unlock us another achievement. That's nice. But what that does is actually unlock us two achievements, sorry. But we've got our axe back. Thank you, Maga Kevin. We'll be seeing you again, you douchebag. But now when we go to the right once, you can see that we are already at the communications building. And then you can use your axe, interact that with a lock, and we can finally head on through. So, um, well, we're actually not too far from the end of the game, really. Uh, just a little bit. Quite a few more things left to do, though. So... Interact with the door twice, and then we're actually just going to head in. Yeah, try opening the door, buddy. That will always help you. So again, a couple of things that we need to do here to wonder where the hell we're going and where the hell we are at. So first things first, we need to interact with the toolbox on the right there. That'll give us the wrench, and there's going to be a gas canister on the shelf, sort of just behind you there, sort of second, second bottom. Um, the computer, we'll need to switch on a bit later. The trap, there is a trap door as well, um, but of course, we can't actually inter interact with it yet because the generator is not on. So, uh, get out of that for now, and head out of the exit, just head back outside. And then use the wrench and the gas can on the generator to get that up and running. Nice! So thanks for not making that too difficult there. <laughs> Uh, so interact with the binders, basically what we we actually need to find these clues to be able to carry on. So you interact with the binders, um, go through these couple of people right here. Again, it's just clues on sort of where they go in how, and how we get there. Interact with the magazine on the bed, there's om, om back, om back. Grab the dictaphone, we're going to be needing that a little bit later on as well. Uh, so that's fine for now. Uh, grab, you can interact with the clothes. If you want to wear women's clothes, buddy, hey, it's 2021. You can do what the hell you want now. Uh, you can, again, interact with the trap door. This time we can interact with it. So the code is 1283. That's 1283. And that will unlock that. And we'll be heading down there in just a little bit, but not yet. So interact with the computer now, turn that on. And the password is OMBAC. So that's O M 
B-A-K, which was on the magazine a little bit earlier on, if you remember. So O-M-B-A-K, that will unlock us the computer and unlock us another achievement. Click on confirm. Dewey, Dewey, boy. What's happening, Dewey? Right, so, <laughs> what we can do then. Uh, first of all, we're going to interact with the email, the top left-hand corner. And there's going to be, you can just smash through them all. Um, but if you interact with the site in, report you, code, uh, just interact with them all. So we've got 1283. Now, that is obviously the trap door number. But, of course, we've already opened up the trap door. But, you know, it's there anyway. Um, of course, we would have had to have come into the computer to unlock the achievement anyway. So, that's all good. Uh, now, we're going to interact with the drawers. I don't think there's anything uh, in the bottom left one there. But if you interact with the bottom and top right one, we're going to find a little something something. Okay, then. Sorry, it was just the upper right one then. All right, sorry, so there's actually nothing in any of those drawers, but what there is in the upper left drawer on the computer desk, we can actually find a micro cassette, which we can take into the, uh, uh, put into the dictaphone a little bit later on. Otherwise, the rest of the drawers have nothing useful in them. Uh, apologies, I thought there was something else, that's why I was looking in all of them. But once we're done, now we can head down into the trap door, and we are golden. Turn on the light, which is right by the side of you, after this 30 second to a minute cutscene. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. Go look, lovely stuff. So turn on the light, which is by the side of you. This game has a lot more um, novelties than other games. You know, other games would have you crawling around in the dark and stuff, but it's very handy to have these lights here. You know. So we're going to interact again with the lights right by the side of us. Just to turn it on, or the lamp, and then interact with the vine or the rope to the right, because that's where we're heading. Down, 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 you love mass singing. <laughs> no, probably not, actually. Sorry. Sorry to deafen you. Sorry. Uh, we're going to head to the right. I'm basically heading to the right out of here again. And just keep heading all the way to the right. And, uh, nothing of interest is going to happen until a cutscene appears. So just keep on walking, honey. Use them legs. Okay then, so we are coming up to a missable achievement now, and this bit absolutely done my head in for ages because I wondered what I was doing wrong. Basically, you're going to see this chest set here. The dead body's there, yeah, but the chest set is more important as it unlocks us an achievement. Sorry to you, Mrs. Dead Person there. Achievements do come first. So if you uh, press the A button, he's going to say something like, oh, I'll leave it be. What you need to do to get the achievement is press the right bumper button on it. That is what you've got to do to, to unlock the achievement. For some reason, that 
completely stumped me for about 10 bloody minutes. Uh, my own fault though. Um, but what you can do is use the shovel on the bag there to get it across. So again, don't press the A button on the chest set. Press the right bumper button or the R1 button on the PlayStation. <clears throat> Excuse me again, not COVID related honestly. And that is what unlocks you the achievement. So again, right bumper so the checkmate achievement unlocks the bloody ting. Anyway, so like I said, now you've got the bag over, using the shovel to get it off the rock, of course. There will be a label on the bag, Dewi Gunadi, which sounds Welsh first, and then Indonesian after, which is a good mix, actually. I like it. That's a good name. Good name. But anyway, we've got a mirror, and we've got ten pegs out of the bag. Requiescat in pace. See, I know my Italian. Thank you, Ezio Auditore de Firenze from the Assassin's Creed Ezio series there. So, what we can do now is use the 10 pegs and interact with the sort of lighter, sort of coloured rock there. So, you need to do it once and then put the next um, tent peg inside as well. And that's going to help us get back up so we don't end up like Mrs. Dead Woman there. Oof, getting a bit peckish here. Well, there's loads of blue and yellow fruit to eat, and I'm sure they're not poisonous at all. Alright, but we're going to head up, and we're going to head to the right. There we go. So you can interact with the bush if you want to. Uh, squirrels are going to be like, hey, get the hell out of here. So we're going to head down, and head to the right. Basically, there's going to be a little fox, which is not looking too friendly. Um, so what we need to do is get the micro cassette and put it inside the dictaphone. <laughs> put it inside the dictaphone there. <laughs> See what it did? Hamlerious, I suppose. And then what we need to do, use the dictaphone on the... A doll, sorry, not a fox. It's a doll. But what we actually need to do, get rid of that. We need to walk a little bit closer to it. I'll just walk sort of in the middle of the bush there. Doll's going to be like, hey, hey, <laughs> screw this. Then that is when we can use the dictaphone on him. There we go. Lovely staff. Don't know why again. So we get an achievement for that, but I don't know why again. If he wanted to attack us, he could have. Maybe we've just got that beautiful awness about us. And he doesn't know it. Nothing wants to kill us in this jungle, which is awesome. So next we can use the dictaphone. Use it on the bush, the berry bush. That gets rid of all the crapping little animals. There you go. Bugger off! Bugger off! Interact then with one of the berries, and basically we're gonna pass out with diarrhea pain again. Oof, man, this jungle is taking a toll on our guts. So now we're just going to be heading down, heading to the right here, obviously, and this time we've got no dole to uh, try and attack and kill us. So thank you for that. Obviously, head down again. There's only really one path that we can be following at the moment, and then we've interacted now with this tent. We've found this tent, so a few things. Again, a little couple of things that we need to pick up. The book right in front of us for one. Uh, just smash through the pages if you want and then just exit out of it. And now we can interact then with the tent. And inside we've got a couple of things that we can pick up. The first thing being 
the uh, there's a wine bottle, there's a pouch, and what I believe is a folder there at the top. So again, smash through the pages, get out of it. There it is, interact with the pouch on the left. So we've got a document from the folder and we can interact with the pouch there. We've got a needle from that, so we're gonna shoot up. We're gonna drink some wine, so grab the wine bottle as well. So we're basically gonna shoot up and drink some wine as well. That is one hell of a night. Not my kind of night, of course. I'm very responsible and respectful. But from here, when you grab the three items, head down. And this tree is basically going to have some sap out of it. So use the axe on the tree. And then obviously it's going to give us some um, fresh sap. Now this bit is very important so you don't have to keep coming back here. What you need to do is use the wine bottle. Uh, and you've got to use it on the fresh bit of sap there. So use the wine bottle on the fresh sap. So you collect them, obviously, in the bottle, but to make sure it doesn't dry out, go up and immediately put the cork on the wine bottle. So that's what you need to do. As soon as you do that, put the cork on the wine bottle. That's going to stop it from drying out, so we can actually go to the next area without any problems. So I actually uh, forgot, forgot to do that a couple of times. You know, it doesn't take too long to go back and do it, but just slightly minor inconvenience, isn't it? So from there we're just going to head up and here we are at this tree, it's basically got a camera on it. Uh, but we're going to look at the camera straight away, don't worry about the screen. Get the wine bottle, use it on the broken SD card slot. Lovely job mate. Uh, so we keep the cork, uh, but we'll now... <laughs> Then we're going to put the SD card in the SD card slot, of course. And then interact with the tree again. This time we can look at the screen and uh, turn it on. And then just keep hitting the right arrow. And again, and again, until we get to this screen. This is a missable achievement. It can be very easily missed, but that is our friend Ramadama Ding Dong. So to get this missable achievement, you need to actually obviously do what I just done there until you see that screen. But when we do that, then we can uh, exit, go back out, and then um, just go to the right. And he's going to automatically swing across after deciding whether to do it, which we obviously do. Go team! Right, now it's time to get into poop your pants territory, jungle at night. So we're just going to keep on heading to the right. Basically what's going to happen is a lot of dialogue. We are... We, I'm going to spoil it for you. We're going to see our friend Ramadama Ding Dong as you interact with the rock. But uh, like I said, a lot of dialogue is going to happen. That's about a minute and a half or two. And by the way, Indonesia, India, all the big massive wedding pies and stuff... You always see some legendary Indian parties, don't you? So, that is one that I want. Anyway, just... 
enjoy the scenery and stuff and just enjoy the next sort of a lot of dialogue options for the next couple of minutes. Hey man, you pissed on my head last night. I feel all sticky. Ew, I'm all sticky. Anyway, so we're gonna have a little argument with Ramadi Damadi Ding Dong, Ding Dong Flanderino. And yeah, so like I say, we got a few things that we're gonna do here. And the first thing we're gonna do is get the needle and interact with the hide, sort of just to the upper right of you. That's going to be nice. We've magnetized the needle now, nice and scrum diddly umptious. Use the needle with the cork, and that gets us another item. So now we can head to the right. And use the um, uh, shovel handle, sorry, on the vine. <laughs> sorry, I almost forgot my bearings for a second there. Uh, we're going to, to be fair, I mean, Yandy's got some big old brave billy bollocks to chuck a snake out very risky uh, so check the snake out grab the vine before we leave and then we can head down now we can gr uh, grab your vine out again whip it out of your trousers interact with the tree branch that is going to make a swing to the other side and then interact with this weird kind of plant that unlocks us another achievement and some more story progression we're about we're less than 20 minutes away now from the end
Ah, god damn it. Anyway, so now we're going to play as Ramadamadi Ding Dong. Head to the right and head to the right. There's a rock there we need, that we need to grease up beautifully. Grab the fruit that is already on the floor. Don't eat it because you will get the diarrhea, death pains. And, pff, well, we all, at some point, we all know how that feels and it ain't very nice. So, the greasy fruit, uh, the greasy fruit flesh, as it's deliciously called, that is what we need to actually use with the rock. Because, like I said, unless you are Dwayne Johnson or Ronnie Coleman or anyone like that, you are not pushing this bloody rock. Use it with the rock then, somehow that will give us just a little bit of grease to work with. But we're going to need some more, so we're going to head back to the right. Now, this bit is uh, kind of important. We need to get the scarf and use it with the bottom of the tree. Now, I think if you don't do this and you scare off the animal, I don't know if the fruit or not falls down. But just make sure to grab your scarf anyway, put it with the sort of bottom part of the tree there, so we can hang onto it. And then we're going to shit up some animals and somehow we're not going to die again. Again, I wouldn't have known personally because I would have died at this point, like I've said again. Interact with the bird. He's going to squawk. And this big old bull boy is going to poop at his pants and he is out of meow. So when we head to the left, you can see now the bulls go in. He's moved the scar for us, which basically gives us a fruit. Again, pretty sure that the fruit wouldn't have worked. Uh, sorry, went a little bit too far. Make sure to pick up the fruit first, of course. So I'm not sure if the fruit would have fallen. I really don't know what would have happened as I didn't get to that point. But anyway, we've got the strange fruit. Uh, we're going to head back up the hill now. We need this fruit opened. So, yeah, we need to interact with the hole, grab the fruit down. Literally, this is pretty much all pointless. Now we can switch with the character, by the way, so make sure to do that. And then we can use our axe on the fruit. I say it's pointless because couldn't he have literally just slammed it down on the ground and it would have opened up? Hey, but I'm not the game developer and I've never been in this situation, so I couldn't tell you. So that's what you've got to do. Uh, pick up the strange fruit, use your axe on it. And then what we can do is interact then with the greasy fruit flesh, chuck it back up through the hole. A lot of uh, a lot of flesh going inside holes in this game. <laughs> anyway, interact with the character again, pick up the fruit, use it on the rock, and we have rescued Yandy. Where is my metal bitch? Ah, there we go then. So, reunited, and it feels so good. This time, our noodle arms are not going to help us climb up, so we need to interact with Ram Diddlyanders. And ask for help, then we can get through the cave. So for this bit, uh, ignore all this, we can just head straight right, so ignore the helmet, the tiger is going to follow us, our tiger breaded friend right here. And 
then we've got a couple of things to do in this area as well. So first things first, we're going to head to the right. We're going to get an another missable achievement here. So make sure to interact with the puppet right outside this sort of shack thing right here. Adaratna always wanted children, but she gets a puppet for now. So again, make sure to grab that before we do anything else. We're going to head to the left and we're going to interact with the bucket outside this door. That's going to get us a key where we can go inside the building, of course. Because there's only one thing that a keys are good for. Uh, unless you're a coke addict. Then, <laughs> then that means you can use it for two things. So there's not as much stuff as we need to interact with. We're going to head upstairs. Interact with the radio on the left right there. Um, you can interact with the whiteboard and a couple of other things. But the main thing we need to be grabbing is in the safe. So grab the radio there. And you can... Have a look through all the drawers. Basically, there's going to be two notes which are going to have uh, numbers, what we need to open up the safe, and get some clues on actually how to progress. So that's all there for there if you have a look through the drawers. But, like I said, the main thing is the safe. And the code to open up the safe is 2902. That's 2902. That, and then interact with the lock above. And that's going... We're going to uh, grab whatever's inside. And a little small cutscene's going to start happening. Batteries and car keys. Very sorry, I know Ramadama Ding Dong just got shot, but it's the way he just act. Well, it's the way he's gonna act here. The why punches the floor once. Why? Ah. Other than again, it's probably never nice seeing your friend get shot in the bum, or the back, or anywhere, I assume. But for now, we're gonna head past uh, Little Miss Piggy right there and keep on going. I say Little Miss Piggy, it looked like she had a, a, a wig on or something. And we're going to head up. We're not, we're not done with being shot at though just yet. So, Hillbilly Dick, Rick, is not stopping shooting at us, so... As soon as he shoots, then you move to the next rock. We don't need to go to this right one, sorry. You see the light coming down off that uh, top left-hand rock there. What you need to do is go into your inventory, get out your mirror, 
near it is, and then just place it on the rock. That's going to blind him for a bit. That will help us aid our escape. Hillbilly Wreck and Rock. And with this bit then, as soon as he shoots, head over to the right hand side. As soon as he shoots, then you head over to the left. As soon as he shoots, head over to the right. And just keep going left and right between these two rocks until the pile of rocks basically crushes him to death. I've missed my opportunity then, almost. <laughs> but it is a case of, as soon as he shoots, just head over to the other rock. Very nice, very nice. So we keep going up and we're gonna keep heading all the way to the um, to the right. Like I said, we are now literally a couple of minutes away from the game's end, which is always nice. So we've just crushed the guy, but you know, just in case we are gonna slap this, uh, get our axe out, slap this gate down using the axe on the vine. There's not much to interact with, but we're going to interact with them anyway. So the um, sort of drawings on the wall there, and these things on the floor, and then just head out of the exit. We are getting another missable achievement. So when we come out here, just keep heading all the way to the right, and that will unlock us another achievement when you're on the sort of cliff's edge there. So there we go. As soon as we're done talking to ourselves again, just keep heading all the way to the right, stand on this cliff's edge. That'll be another achievement unlocked, so we can now head back into the cave. And then we can interact with the bedding, which is on the right hand side. There was actually something that we needed to interact with on the outside of this cave as well. That basically it just progresses the story a bit. So if you're wondering why your story's not progressing, you've got to interact with the drone on the walls, the things on the floor to the, to the right of them there, the stones or whatever, the bedding, and interact with these fiery remains as well. So just make sure to interact with those four. Grab the missable achievement as well for standing on the cliff's edge. Um, you can't actually use the radio yourself for some reason, but if you walk to the left just a little bit, then he's like, oh, actually, yeah, that's a very good idea. So I, <laughs> there we go. So we're going to interact. Uh, we're going to do that. Two hours. <laughs> well, glad my uh, life is worth that much to you, yeah. but who? Right, so we have this like monkey thing with no weenus, with seemingly no genitalia um, out to get us there. So head outside as we're doing here. We're heading back to the inside and he's got a rock that he's going to 
potentially throw at us. What the? That would be enough to just sort of uh, jump off the cliff, personally. But we are good to go. We have now finished the game. Thank God for that. But that is it then, guys and gals. So for once in a video game, we've actually got a happy ending. Instead of going, ah, oh, we've done all that just to die at the end. Because that pisses me off. But <laughs> there we go then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope this helped. And if it did, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Like I said, if you did find this helpful. Um, big shout out to all my big Patreon supporters. Thank you so much, especially Tim G84 and Change Spange. Again, apologies, mate. I probably just butchered that. Again, I'm very sorry. Um, don't forget to check me out on all my socials as well. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and like I just said, Patreon as well. But that is that then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. I shall see you in the next one. Enjoy the ending. See you in the next one again, guys and gals. Big love.